All right, guys, how's it going? So we are going to continue the journey of upgrading my $47 Amun Stratocaster. Now, this is a guitar I did a review on several months ago, and yeah, I got this guitar for $47. Now, since then, unfortunately, they have gone up in price somewhat, but they're still a really good deal. But, you know, it's a very basic Strat copy. So I've been going through it and upgrading uh, different parts of it here and there. The first thing I did was uh, put in some upgraded pickups. These are still very budget-friendly pickups, but these are more like Hot Rails clones, so you can get a more powerful, more humbucker-type sound out of them. But anyway, the, uh, the modification that I've done today is one that actually a lot of people have asked me to do, and that is that up here I've installed a set of locking tuners. Uh, now these are like a nice black finish. I think they look really cool, and they work really well, and these are, these are the sets, it's a set of six that you see floating around eBay for like $12, $13, $14. I'll put some links below in the video description to where you can find these. But I got to, I want to be totally honest with you guys here. Um, these were not quite the quality that I was hoping for. I normally don't like to do bad reviews. And once I got these all installed and sorted out, they do work great but this is actually the second set of them that I had to order. In the first set that I ordered, two of the six, uh, the shafts in these things that lock the string in place were completely frozen. You couldn't turn them at all. And I actually ended up turning them so hard to try and unstick the shaft that it actually just completely backed the thumb screw off and then you couldn't get it back on. So two out of six were bad in the first set. I thought, well, okay, maybe it's just a fluke. You know, maybe they've been sitting on the shelf for a long time. So I went ahead and ordered a second set. And of those six, one of those, uh, the screw was totally stripped out to tighten it down to hold the string in place. So actually both sets had at least one tuner that was bad. Now, between the two of them, I got a full set that worked. And since I've installed them, they work great. But with all that being said, I can't really recommend these unless you're going in knowing that some of the tuners might be screwed up. Now, fortunately, these are still really cheap. Like I said, $12, $13, $14 for a set of six of them. So even if you do have to buy two sets like I did, it's still only going to be about $24. But it's definitely not the good deal that it's supposed to be. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you the tutorial about how to install these. And the installation is the same whether you get these or you get a more expensive set. It's a really easy installation. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay guys, so here are the original tuners. These are just the cheap, uh, you know, no name brand tuners that come with the guitar. They do the job okay, but you know, they're, they're kind of loose feeling and they, they, don't, uh, they don't hold tune that well. So the first thing you want to do is take the strings off. After you do that, you want to remove the little screws on the back of the tuners. And you take all of those out. Uh, you can keep the screws, but the new tuners do come with their own screws, so you don't really need to keep any of the old stuff. After you take those screws out, you want to loosen the nuts that are on the front side of the headstock. Now these nuts are actually attached to the sleeve that goes inside of the hole that holds the tuner. So you want to take all of those off, uh, you just have to kind of loosen them with a, a little wrench, like I'm using a crescent wrench, and then you can uh, just use your fingers to undo them the rest of the way. The whole tuner comes out, there's a, a couple of washers that'll come out with it. Now these holes here are just around 10 millimeters. Uh, you can see uh, 9.8 millimeters I've got there. Now the new tuners, uh, you know, pretty straightforward. They just slide in. You, you slide uh, one piece of the tuner in through the back of the headstock, and then the other part, which is that same sleeve that you took off uh, the other tuner, you put a wash over that, and then you slide the sleeve down into the hole and just just tighten that just enough with your fingers where the tuner is not going to fall out of the hole. You really just have to have these holding themselves into the holes. They don't have to be that tight right now. Now once you've got all of those in there, you're going to take these new screws and you're going to line up the new screws in the old screw holes. And this is 
you know, really straightforward, uh, pretty much same size screw, so they just go right in. So you line those all up and then you want to tighten those screws down. Once you've done that, then you want to go through and then you want to start tightening down those sleeves all the way. You just kind of did finger tight before, now you want to really go ahead and tighten them down all the way with a wrench. Now once you've done that, you can put the new strings on. And I want to make this clear, the entire purpose of these locking tuners is to really lock the string in place. So you don't have to wind it around the shaft like you did before on the old tuners. You just put the string in through the hole, then you tighten it down with that thumb wheel on the back, that locks the string in place. And then you just tighten the tuners up the same way you would with anything else, but you don't have to worry about having any slack in the string. And here they are all finished up. Don't they look great? All right guys, so that is how you install those locking tuners on a Strat copy like this. Like I said, the installation is pretty straightforward. It's gonna be about the same on any other guitar, and yeah, like I said in the beginning, I'll put some links below, as I always do, to where you can find these tuners. They are very cheap. You might get lucky, and you'll get a complete set that works, but I didn't have that experience. I had to get two sets to get one that worked. Now, as far as this guitar, I will have some more tutorials coming up. I've gone ahead and installed a push-button kill switch down here. That's going to be in a future video, and I've continued to enjoy this guitar. It still blows my mind how cheap this was to get. And I really love it. I even used this in a music video that I did with Dan Mum about a month ago. Now I believe Amun has actually changed the way they're doing these Strat copies. I think they've changed the headstock design a little bit. I haven't had a chance to check out the new ones yet, but it's definitely on my list. All right guys, as always, thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. I'll talk to you soon.